Oh my god, that's gonna be a problem. Uh, oh god. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Chameleon Craft. This is episode 5 of series 2 and I'm really excited today because I'm going to be getting the first bit of my base done, the entrance and the main kind of design of the base. Uh, off camera I did a bit of work, I moved the farm that we did off, uh, we did last episode which is uh, makes the last episode a bit pointless because I put the farm here and then moved it over there but anyway uh, we did a bit of landscaping as well over here, I moved the land this way so we got much more open area. Um, as well, also moved a bit of this land back here as well. Also lifted all this up too because this was it kind of the ground was high there and then went low in this area. And I wanted to make it one level so it's easy to work with. So that's pretty much all my dirt gone. I've also made a strip mine, um, and I, it's, it's it's like this because there was a cave here and I started digging down and it kind of went with the cave and I thought it looked really cool all open like this. Um, so yeah, that's that's me my rambling over and I'm gonna go into a creative world now and show you my plan for my base okay so this is the design you literally just saw and this is my plan for the base so imagine this is ground level here we're gonna have a hole going down and here and here we're gonna have staircases going down in either four directions like so and each uh, little staircase will lead to a new area at the bottom for example down here will be a massive open room of just maybe farms maybe but down here would be the big storage room that I'm thinking of building or definitely going to build with all the uh, farms leading into it. Down here would be maybe a laboratory, maybe here enchantment and random stuff. So that's pretty much it. That's the design. Um, I've gone for stained glass windows with um, lights behind to light the tunnel going down. And I'm going to uh, change the colour glass for each corridor. Um, this is my favourite bit. It's really red, really, really simple redstone, but all you do is that to get out and it's really cool so basically all this is is a bit of redstone and a sticky piston like so and next to the sticky piston is a furnace so the sticky block on top the slime block doesn't get stuck to the ground and start moving up and down so yeah you have to run on diagonally though that's the only problem because if you run on straight like this it you know you don't have enough speed actually let's see if you can no it's still a bit buggy because you know, once you've stepped on the pressure plate, it's already up, and you won't be able to jump on it. So you have to go from diagonal. Occasionally, you do miss it, but I'm going to guess after a while, I'm going to get quite used to it. But this is the idea, and I do make it pretty much every time. Uh, I can't go deeper though; that's the only problem. Giggity, can't go deeper, otherwise I won't be able to make it up to the surface. So, one, two, three, four, five blocks down is probably the best. Um, also, I don't think I'll take that much damage every time I fall. Um, I haven't really thought of a solution for that, um, for taking full damage, but I'm just going to have to do that every time, unless I aim for the slime block like that, and I wouldn't take damage. Um, I kind of like the roof design with the half slabs and the polished diorite. I think that looks kind of quite cool, but the sides of the wall is a bit boring. I don't really know what to do with these. Um, I'm just going to keep it like that, but if I see any designs online or on the Minecraft Reddit, I will probably copy a wall design like that. So this is the idea, so we're going to get uh, get to work on this. Uh, we're going to make, probably in today's episode, the hole with one staircase, maybe two if we're lucky, um, and I'm, just, or I'm definitely going to furnish one, that's for sure. Hey, so there's the basic entrance to the base done. Um, I did have a bit of problem with my pick, because it's really slow at the moment, because I've got an iron pick. What I think I'm going to do is get a diamond pick. I've got a lot of diamonds, by the way, because I went mining for ages. Um, make a diamond pick, it's not two, it's three, there we go. And go and enchant because Dan has put a enchantment table. Put an enchantment table at spawn. I think 26 enchantments would be good. I need lapis. This is actually going to be my first um, enchantment uh, using the new enchanting. Um, God, what would it be? Enchanting ways? Enchanting phys physics? I don't know, what is it? Enchanting mechanics. There we go. I'm just going to run over to spawn. This actually kind of shows off where my house is in comparison to spawn because I haven't walked there yet on camera. But we're almost there. A bit more has happened at spawn as well, by the way. Uh, Andrew has made the farm a bit bigger. I didn't realise Andrew actually was making this farm. I thought that was Dan as well. Um, but Dan did the enchantment table. Oh, full bookcases as well. That's awesome. So let's go. Like that. Whoa. Oh, I'm using an old texture pack. So that's, okay, that's a bit weird. So one, two, 
the hang on. I need to change texture packs, otherwise I'm not going to be able to see what ha what's happening. Yeah, I use a texture pack by a YouTuber called Tiggy. It just makes everything look a bit cooler. There we go. One, two, three. Three. Oh, I can't get level 30, can I? I'm breaking two. I'm breaking three something if I can get 30. Maybe it is my best bet to get level 30. So I'm going to go mining quickly. Maybe down here. I'm going to go mining for a bit and see if I can get loads of levels for a level 30 pickaxe. Okay, well, I decided to go to the nether instead because it would be so much easier to get this stuff because this stuff gives you loads of um, XP anyway. Quartz is the best source of XP when going for ores. Oh my god, that's going to be a problem. Oh god. Okay, 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 okay. Slowly. Nope. Not that way. Not that. Oh my. Whoa. Okay, okay. Let's see if I can knock this straight back. At it. Nope. Okay. Nope. Come on. One more. One more. Okay. This time. This time I'll knock it back. Yes. Damn it. Do they avoid it now? Ow. Okay. How am I going to get down? Oh. Yes. Oh. Look at that. Achievement Hunter. Let's see if he drops. Oh, is that a ghost here? Hey, 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 pretty sweet. I was just thinking when I was mining all that quartz out that it's not actually unbreaking that we need. It's efficiency, but unbreaking is always useful, and we can either get efficiency, fortune, or silk touch. And all three of those are good, really, so let's see what we get. That's perfect. Oh, that's the best pick. Well, since the last cut, I have been super, super, super busy. Look at my pick. It's almost 75% down with durability already. I started a lot when I started talking then. But this is what I've managed to do. Uh, this is one area. This is going to be my... Um... What? What a strange question. No, I haven't seen the film Edward Painter's Hands. Anyway, yeah, this is going to be my storage room, I think. So you come down, and when you stand here, you're going to be able to see chests all around like this. Um, it's going to be a bit hard to do because it's all odd numbers here. So, for example, 1, 2, space, 1, 2. This is 1, 2, space, 1, two. You know, it's a bit strange. I'm going to have to figure out a way of doing this um, to make it look good. Maybe I can have some diagonal bits here, or maybe have the chests going um, long ways like this. And that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, so this is pretty much this episode done, and I'm pretty impressed with how much I did get done here. Um, a lot of cobble and stuff, too. My chests are overflowing. I'm trying to get grass down here as well. I've, You may have noticed the two styles I'm going with, if you are you know, familiar with uh, Minecraft YouTubers. I'm trying to copy the um, Etho cave style, as well as Mumbo Jumbo's jungle base from Hermitcraft. That is actually a mouthful to say. I've never said that before. Um... Yeah, so we, he's got the kind of the square going down into the different levels, but then I've got the, I've implemented the wood and the logs and the grass to make it look more like Etho's base. Um, so yeah, like I said, this is this this done for this episode. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, most of it was me rambling and time lapse as usual. Um, if you did enjoy, leave a like down below, and I will see you next time. <laughs>